Hello, Hello. And welcome to the Swole Initiative Network. You are watching Kids in Capes. I got stuck on what show we were doing. We've done so many recently. <laughs> um, but yes, we are here celebrating the uh, the amazing Kickstarter that our friends at Hunters Entertainment are currently running. I think there's two weeks left of the um, of the Kickstarter. So this is uh, the latest uh, in the uh, Powered by Kids on Bikes series um, with, with super powered kids. How cool is that? Um, so uh, we do have a command in the chat uh, if you want to go over and back it if you're enjoying what you're seeing. Um, that is exclamation point K-I-C. And that will give you uh, the the link there. So bear that in mind as you uh, enjoy. Yeah. Uh, but before we can jump into our caped crusaders, um, <laughs> we have some uh, we have some super announcements to make. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is where it starts. All right, Masood, take us away. Would love to. We want to give a great shout out to our sponsors who helped us out and made it possible for you to enjoy our content, particularly Norse Foundry. Swole only roll on Norse Foundry, amazing gemstone and metal dice, and all of our featured music comes from the free library available on Apple Music and Spotify by the one and only Norse Foundry. Use the code, use the code SWOLE to save 10% at NorseFoundry.com. It was almost there. It was almost so, so close. close. But so that's close. why next time, next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Betty, what you got? Uh, we also want to say a big thank you to Griffin Co. and all of our 3D printed and custom terrain when we have maps on other shows. Um, they all come from the incredible folks over at Griffin Co. and you can check them out and use the code SWOLE22, that's S W O L E 22. And you can save 22% off of your purchase at griffinco.com. They've got some really great stuff over there. So make sure you check them out. Amazing. And Ashley, what do you have in store for us? A completely normal ad read from <laughs> us. our friends and my best friend. We have matching bracelets. Hero Forge! They're our brand partner and official sponsor of Fables of Galia. And uh all of our fully custom player minis come from the awesome Hero Forge designers today at HeroForge.com. Do you have matching bracelets with the entire company? No, it's like, yeah, it's like, best friend, yeah. yeah, I get it's it. Split up into like so many tiny pieces, and it takes a really long time for us to like put all them together, and like, like, logistically, like it's a nightmare. For yeah. all of us to stand in a circle and like put them together in like these tiny slivers, it's actually pretty dangerous. But when we all come together, it's like actually really cool. And we unlock you mean, like when powers. your powers combine. When right. our powers exactly. combine, yeah. <laughs> yes. Really. Power it feels like a big Captain Planet energy, but just I was going to say, do you, uh, I was about to say, do you summon a giant like mini of uh, Captain Planet? You know, are we, we writing a commercial right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Someone's a kaiju. It's actually yeah. really dangerous that it. <laughs> that took a turn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> aside from uh, running kids in capes, we do have a sub goal. Uh, we are at 35 that we want to get to. We're currently at seven. Once we hit that, no matter what stream we are on, we will uh, run a giveaway for a $50 e-gift card from Norse Foundry. Um, so you can just get that and then go and buy some stuff. And it'll be rad and things and stuff. And rad. <sighs> so uh, if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for one. Uh, but you can also uh, hit exclamation point roll in the chat to roll a d20 or exclamation point roll d and then a number of faces on a die and it will roll that die that you choose to roll with and stuff. Uh, <laughs> we're not doing anything with channel points uh, today, but you can still earn them because Next month, once we finish up with Kids in Capes, at the end of the month, 
uh, you'll be able to use all of those accumulated points on our heroes in the Fables of Galia to uh, help influence the game as well. Um, yes, I think, I think that's it. Do I, oh, we have a YouTube as well, exclamation point YouTube, to go and subscribe over there. Um, other than that, I don't think there's any, anything else. No, I'm looking around at everyone's faces. No, okay. <laughs> um, holy shit. Well, this is this is our first time. Well, apart from Masood uh, running like kids on bikes. So uh, yeah, be be gentle. But uh, hopefully this will be super entertaining for everyone. Uh, so I guess there's nothing left to do except roll the trailer for kids in capes. Welcome back. So, I have mood music. Here we go. <laughs> so, uh, I will preface by saying that I had very little to do with the world building portion of this. Uh, this was done off screen, uh, courtesy of the players running through the regular session zero for uh, Kids on Bikes. So, the city of Newburgburg is a fairly simplistic yet unique city on the coast of the USA. You heard right, New Bergberg. <laughs> Built on the exoskeleton of the shrimping industry, New Bergberg proudly champions their humble beginnings. Laced with canalways, the local transport is provided by fan boats, while the busy center is marked by the huge glass dome of architecture resembling a trapping net. But it is first thing in the morning on the day of a field trip. And so as you hear <coughs> going off next to you, Masood, why don't you introduce your character as you are waking up with your alarm going off? Uh, Ram raises his arm, stretches up, and within two seconds of waking up, immediately begins stretching. He's out, he's getting ready, he's getting his blood circulating. Now, there's no game tonight because it's Saturday, but it's gotta be a game sometime, right? So he's always just getting ready for it. He's always in that mode. He's puts on his sweater, he gets his things ready, he grabs his backpack, and you look around his room, it's pretty sparse. It's just like a few uh, posters, some of the great water polo teams from the years before, like Stanford 96, Stanford 98, Stanford 22. Uh, Stanford really has dominated the market for a while. It's kind of Grant's dream to go there, but he knows the only way he's gonna get there is through water polo. Um, but with that energy, he laces up his kicks, gets his sweatshirt on, and 
kind of steps out the door, makes his way to his neighbor's house uh, to get to school. On a Saturday. On a Saturday. It was the field trip. <laughs> You can change the day. A little look, bit of delirium look, might have look, been anything. <laughs> anything goes in New Bergberg. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what goes on in New Bergberg stays in New Bergberg. That's the I'm gonna end. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna trip over that so many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So uh, you head out. How are you getting to school? What do you do? Do you just run? No. Well, I mean, I was gonna wait for. Uh, one of my buddies. I, I, I felt like, I don't know, might be worth introducing Mike. So you're gonna wait on Ani. Yeah, yeah, so we can go across to Ani waking up first thing in the morning. Why don't you introduce yourself? <sighs> uh, uh, Arnie wakes up with uh, just like a huge yawn, snoozing the alarm way too much, waking up everyone in the house just it's about 10 snoozes about like 6 45 6 30 he knows he has to pick up brant for the two a days for his water polo so he's he's crawling out of bed and he's he he doesn't even get dressed he sleeps in the clothes that he's gonna wear the next day and he he just he grabs the the keys off the hook parents or just get like a, a small like little hand wave and he heads out the door to this old beaten up uh, work van that his parents used to use for their shrimping company to travel from the, the bay to their little shrimp shop and he he just he, he the inside is forever smelling like just seafood it's the worst uh, there are stains on the like the ceiling like he has like thumbtacks to like hold up the little cloth ceiling uh, it's it's not great there's like 10 different uh, like Christmas tree scented little danglies <laughs> and he he pulls up to Brant's house and just honks the horn which it sounds like it's failing it just goes how how <laughs> <laughs> so as you hear the familiar pops and bangs of the uh, white van making its way down the road to you Brant uh you can see like the sun kind of hits off the side of the white van mm -hmm. and you can still see like the off coloring of where it says Schmidt's shrimp, but the decals were taken off with the giant shrimp in the middle of it. But if the sun hits it just right, you can see everything. <laughs> so pulls up beside you, honks the horn. I, I open the door and I hop in and hey, Orny, you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm always ready. Um, how, are you, you ready for practice? Yeah, man, I'm always ready for practice. It's gonna be another great day. You know, I think I might try doing some goalie workouts today. I haven't really worked out my quads at treading for a while. I want to get a little 10 gallon jug and just kind of do a little motion in there. Coach says I don't need to practice for every position, but I think we should be prepared just in case the team needs you, you know? Hey, that's that's why that's why you're the greatest, man. Um, I mean, thanks, Arnie. Hey, any any time, anything, anything you need, I'm happy to just, I'm happy to drive you to school, even though I just wait around. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any extracurriculars in the morning, but yeah, I'm happy to drive you, man. Uh, I, I heard they put more chlorine in the pool. I wonder if that's gonna affect you at all. No, I, I mean I don't know. Most of my hair's falling out already. It can't be that bad. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> For sure, and he's, I think Arnie's just passive, like, non-committal statements. He's so tired uh, as he drives to school. Just, he pops it into gear and just... Yeah. <laughs> and Grant, yeah, uh, Grant just goes off about, like, you know, the thing about... I've been looking at some plays from the 22 team uh, as they, like, drive off and get ready for school. I imagine there's, like, it's a manual, so there's going to be a... <laughs> with the gear shift and then there's little bunny hops before you get going you catch the clutch in this really weird spot oh, and yeah. you just like <clears throat> like suddenly take off <laughs> um, but it is along the way that you do remember that you do need to go to school today because it is the morning of the field trip that everyone is going on uh, but as you drive towards school uh, I feel like I feel like the alarm clock in this house would be an old style like analog wind up with with actual bells on top of it 
So like, as it goes off. Uh, Ashley, why don't you introduce your character? Uh, the alarm goes off before the sun rises. This is probably hours earlier that the alarm goes off and Jack very quickly starts to like throw a baseball cap over her bushy brown hair uh, that's just kind of like sticking out sideways uh, and kind of taming it down and throwing her glasses on and just kind of like uh, scrambling really quick to get everything and throw it into her backpack. She goes to like the kitchen where her field trip permission form was left out for her parents to sign, was not signed, forges a signature really quick and kind of slips that in. Uh, before jumping off the houseboat just as her dad behind the wheel is starting to pull it off away out of the dock to go trip for the day. Um, And so Jack will make her long uh, walk in the very early morning towards the school. But she enjoys this. This is kind of like a rare quiet moment she gets off the boat that she lives in with her giant family. Yeah, I feel like uh, because you have so many boats all connected to one another uh, that, like, you run off of one and as you, like, get off of that, like, joining plank, they're, like, taking it up to go. And yeah. so you're just constantly just about making the planks as they all start pulling out. It's such a well-oiled routine at this point, and she could on- she could honestly do it half asleep, which she is doing this morning, too. Uh, but I think there's a little pep in her step uh, knowing that they're doing something uh, exciting at school today, knowing she gets to learn something new eventually. That's it. Uh, so you have to walk all the way. Uh, is it a lonely walk? I think she enjoys the quiet. Like, I think everything else is so chaotic at home, and this is, like, kind of, like, a nice, you know, she's probably has her, like, headphones and is just listening to some, like, lo-fi beats to study and or relax to and just kind of, uh, actually chilling as she watches the sunrise over the bay and eats like the shrimp sandwich that her mom packed in her backpack uh, on her way. Nice. Everyone in Newburgburg loves a good shrimp witch. Yeah. Shrimp witch. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what goes in Newburgburg stays in Newburgburg. Absolutely. That's what everyone says. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. In my head, it was a witch that is a shrimp. And oh, I don't know a <laughs> shrimp <laughs> witch. Away the big bad. <laughs> Does that mean that there is also a shrimp warlock? If that's the case. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to meet him. Uh. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so I feel like you just kind of like walk along the canal edge, um, the sunset kind of glistening off of the um, off of the water as it starts to ripple with the boats kind of driving out, um, sort of just off into the distance, just a silhouette, very like 90s-esque. You can probably tell from the soundtrack, I'm going very Breakfast Club with this. <laughs> um, yeah, perfect. Uh, so, as not an alarm goes off, but just a yell up the stairs from, uh, from beneath in the restaurant, uh, just completely sort of shattering you out of sleep and, like, bringing you into conscious with a, Seth, it's time to go! Yep, yep, it's, 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 uh... My mom screaming at the top of her 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 lungs. Sip. It's not even sip. She can't pronounce the H. It's sip. She's like sip, sip. But I wake up like like a drive by. It's just going on because she's so loud. I, I wake up out of bed. I'm like, and on autopilot, I just grab my beanie, and I just start rushing down the stairs because I actually they, she wakes me up super early in the morning because our restaurant is in the the other side of town. It's like the more lower income side of town. Um, and she, we use somebody else's address close to the school so I can go to the better school kind of deal. So I have to wake up really early in the morning and skateboard all the way across town to get to school. Um, and the, the whole place smells like, like crustacean because the place, the, the restaurant's called Crust Asian. And there's, it just smells like lobster and shrimp. Like, I, I can't stand it. Um, and I have to, like, walk out of my room and then walk down the hall. And it's just past frames and frames 
of my brother's accomplishments. So it's like martial arts and his like math championship and spelling bee and like, and so I'm just like, I hate this place. And it's like a hoarder place. So I'm try trying to squeeze through the hallway, past you know all the accolades, and then I get downstairs, and uh, my mom immediately yells, you know, where you, what you doing? Where you going? And I'm like, mom, mom, it's field trip today. She's like, but are you gonna be back when work to work in time? And I'm like, do I have to work every day? And she's like, the chef called out sick, and so I have to to uh, come back early. And so I'm like, whatever. And like, I'm like a, kind of a laid back looking dude, but I've got like the forearms, like gigantic forearms from flipping those giant walks. So I'm like, I'm like, not, I'm like neat fat, but with like monster forearms, like just ridiculous looking forearms. Um, and one jacked leg from yeah. skateboarding all the way to school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a vision of Popeye with a massive calf. That's his bad yeah. story. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just um, one, just one. Yeah, and I, I uh, grab my stuff and my, uh, yeah, all my stuff and I just kick kick off the skateboard. And I forget to shower and I just I just take off because I want to leave, leave so badly. Yeah. I imagine kind of just like going down the hallway, like uh, almost like sideways around like there's like the kitchen kind of spills over into like the residence. Like there's just like takeout boxes stuff. and like styrofoam yeah. packaging and like just all over the place. Yeah. Like sliding around and things like grabbing a couple of like shrimp rolls off of like the, the counter top yeah. uh, for your breakfast on the road. And you just go uh, dropping your skateboard down and heading off down the sidewalk. Which leaves another alarm to go off. Mari will reach over and tap the alarm. She'll look out the window dramatically and she will state, Soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. And see. <sighs> it's another day. <sighs> and she'll get up and fix her hair, put on her little beret, and, you know, tap her picture of Judy Garland, and, you know, take a handful of popcorn from the theater that she, her family runs, and head out the door school but she doesn't want to be there too early because she doesn't want to talk to people and so she just wants to like make sure that she arrives right when the bell rings and how do you make your way to school how far away are you um our theater is kind of in like the city center so i would assume it's not too far from the school i walk yeah just a short walk then mm. uh great yeah so um all one by one sort of descending upon um, the school. As you sort of get to like the outside, you can see there's like already like uh, yellow buses sort of parked, ready to like load the kids on and things first thing in the morning. Um, but you do have to go and do homeroom. Look at you. Research, yeah. well done. Good job, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, you have to go to the homeroom and yep. sort of register in before you can head out to the to the buses. So you'll head out to the classes and things, sign in, and then when the bell goes, you're out into the hallway. And I think that's just kind of as you start filtering out there. Um, I guess Masood and Arnie, what, what are you guys doing? I'm just making my way like down the hallway. I think uh, talking to Arnie, like. Well, I had a little bit of extra protein last week, and I thought I saw some monumental gains in my muscle mass, so I think if I have more egg whites than egg yolks. But I don't know, did you see that study I sent you that said that there might be some positives to just eating the eggs as a whole for muscle gain? Yeah, I, I definitely read the entire thing, for sure. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you you said yolk and monument, and I think that you were both yolk and monumental, so that's... Uh. Awesome. <laughs> 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 Laughter 
throughout the entire hallway. He guffaws at Ar Arnie! <laughs> Arnie, you're so funny, man! Man, that's why. Yeah, buddy. All right. Where, so, I mean, I, honestly, uh, where are we going today? Do you have any idea? Uh, yeah. Um, I, I, I think the permission slip said that we were going to insert DM. The, the aquaculture farm. Oh! oh. The uh, aquaculture farm? I don't know. And I'm holding, like, my permission slip, like... Like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So as you're, like, staring at the uh, uh, at the note, um, the guffaw of uh, Brant kind of gets the attention of a couple of, like, uh, older kids in, like, these Letterman jackets who look over and kind of see the top of your head over the top of the note, recognize you instantly, and walk over. The one closest to you, like, puts his hand like on your head and like palms your head and then just ruffles your hair and goes, sup Schmidt head. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. What? No. No. No what? You don't do that. No. It's, it, 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 it's okay. It's, it, it, it's, it's, it's fine. Brand. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. You sure? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if anything, it just kind of messed my hair up, but I look better like that anyway, apparently, okay. according, to, according to to Cosmo. Okay. Oh, and, like, ruffles your hair a little bit, a little nicer, and it's like, oh, okay, I get it, yeah. Yeah, it's like a bedhead look. Apparently, this guy named Chad Michael Murray invented it back in the day. Oh, sick. <laughs> <laughs> I try to keep walking with Arnie and, like, shoulder check the guy as we go past. Oh, uh... Give me, let's do a contested brawn. Oh, I would love one. to. Would First love roll! To. <laughs> uh, First roll and it's contested. Contested, let me okay. Give, let me give you the DC. Mm -hmm. So you gotta be, uh, oh, only an 11. Oh, okay, okay. Well, let's let's try. I have a, tw a D20 with a plus one. Thirteen plus one, fourteen. Whoa! Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so he kind of sees, he like sees you coming, yeah. and notices that you're not sort of moving away. So he kind of braces into it to kind of bump you, mm -hmm. but you just like launch all of your weight down uh, into like this concentrated mass. Yeah. And he just like poof, like bounces off and like knocks into the other guy, and they kind of stumble back into the lockers. <laughs> So Chad Michael Murray had a really, he, he inspired this haircut. Looking back at that guy with like a, like a real squint before moving on immediately back to Arnie. Yeah, man, you know, I, so what else is he known for? I don't really watch a lot of TV. Um, I mean, he's known, he has a very large uh, filmography, um, but he's mainly just known for being uh, like sensitively attractive and, uh, I don't know. I just read that uh, like bedhead is like a relaxed sort of thing that people are into. Of like, he's laid back. He's cool. He doesn't even care about his appearance. You know. Okay. That sounds nice. I mean, you look good, Arnie. I don't. I don't know what you're so worried about. I, I like the shirt. It's, it's your Arnie shirt. You know, you you wear that shirt a lot, and I'm like, oh, that's Arnie's shirt. And then like, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, my mom said I look good in green. So like. I, I wore it, but yeah, I, that's a... <laughs> I mean, I, I, what I lack in muscles, I, I I make up for in reading pop culture magazines. So, well, I mean, everyone needs a different skill set for the team to succeed, Arnie. And you, you know, like I'm not, I'm not good at math. You're great at math, and I need that help. And I, I, I'm I'm good at getting things from the top shelf, and sometimes I can do that for you. I mean, pretty much every time, yeah. Yeah, uh, but I mean, you know, you got you got so many other things going for you. You got you got muscles. You got you already have just messed up hair from swimming all the time, and it, all the chlorine makes it look like you're just naturally a beach guy. Like you, you're just you're the best. Oh, Artie, thank you. I, so as, I these, as this conversation kind of continues <laughs> yeah. down the hallway, uh, I feel like they would be uh, passing Mari. What are you doing right now? 
Um, if I see Schmidt head coming down the hallway, I'm gonna get on the other side of the hall and like <laughs> walk as far away from him as I can. Are you uh, trying to like obscure yourself? Mm. Or are you just putting distance? I'm putting distance. I don't want to talk to him. Um, but I would be looking for Jack probably. Uh, yeah, you both have to walk, so I, I would say it's not long before... Oh, no, you've already gone to homeroom and things, so yeah. So, uh, if you sort of start looking around, it wouldn't take long before you saw your friend Jack. Who's definitely talking to one of the teachers with, like, a loosely piece of paper. Do you think they're gonna have time to answer my questions? I wrote down a few preconceived ones just in case they needed to get the conversation going. You know? I I see this interaction and I don't go oh, anywhere near it and I go sit down in my desk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in the hallway right now, oh, sort of getting ready that. to like line up to like be released onto the buses and things. I will paces behind this. I'm not going to interact with that. <laughs> no worries. Uh, and then I imagine like skateboarding down the hallway. Oh yeah, you, I, I you guys start hearing the rolling of the wheels yeah. along like the tile floor. The <laughs> yeah, uh, I skateboard straight to the boys' bathroom, and then like after like maybe ten minutes or so, um, I come walking out, and I've got like a gold sequin top that I stole from my mom, and like green, like neon green biker shorts and like an old uh, pitchfork, devil's pitchfork. And I'm like, I'm ready to go to aquaculture. And I'm, I'm dressed as like a cheap ass co uh, Aquaman cosplay, like the cheapest <laughs> cosplay ever. <laughs> and I just come strolling down the, the hallway. Like, yeah. Amazing, yeah. And so like presenting yourself. In fact, yeah, go, go ahead and give me a charm roll. Oh, that's my thing. Yeah. Jack is furiously checking her syllabus to see if she missed Spirit Week on the schedule or something. <laughs> I got a 16. 16. Yeah, like pretty much the whole hallway that can actually see you just starts erupting in laughter. Like to the point where some of the other ones like closer to the door at the front are just kind of like clambering over to try and see you. Uh, but yeah, you have an effect. Yeah. I'm just soaking in all the all the and I'm, I'm just like running up and like, um, <laughs> just, I, I go to the water fountain and I, I like fill up my mouth and I'm just like walking up and then just squirting water on people. Annoying as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'm going to go, I speak to fish. So you guys need me on this trip. <laughs> um, yeah. So <laughs> after that, uh, it's not too long before you hear the voice of uh, Mrs. Winston, uh, which is sort of an older teacher. Uh, this is kind of like last couple of days of, um, like last couple of weeks before school uh, before school ends. And so she's like, she's like the older teacher that goes on the field trips because the other ones like having like more important things to do with the time when the kids are gone. So with this sort of puff of like white hair and almost like this crooked back um this sort of yellow dress that's sort of belted on um with uh like th these pink sort of patterns across it um she yells out all right everyone on the bus and so kids start filing out like to, like both sides of the hallway basically being spread out onto uh, the two different buses. Mm -hmm. um, this is my favorite teacher, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should have really long extended conversations. <laughs> I can do this all day. <laughs> We're going to test that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, is there anything you guys want to do, like, as you guys are sort of climbing onto the buses or anything? I might look for, um, if I see any of the other folks from the water polo team, maybe try to sit with them and, like, 
grab, see if I can grab Arnie with, uh, even though he's not on the team. Uh, but if Arnie wants to do something else, I might be like, okay, and head off in my own direction. Yeah, so uh, you get onto the bus, and it's a familiar bus driver as well. There's, there's only a couple. Um, this is uh, Patty Olson. She's got this like scraggly and sort of brown, like ringlets of hair. Uh, underneath, she has like a, a driver's hat and a blue short sleeve shirt with like little lapels on and uh, blue pants. But as the sort of uh, the sound of the door tss, like opening up, and she's like cranking it open, um, you like bunches of people like file onto the bus. You walking up, like bringing, making sure like Arnie's like close behind. Uh, manage to spot like an area which is like they've almost formed like a circle out of like the back seat and like the the first row from there as well uh so you spot that and there is like a little there's a space where you could probably close the circle but there's space on the bench next to you perfect i, I think i make my way and i'm like hey guys hey what's going on you all know up, bro hey man oh 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 oh, 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 oh. There's a there's a ball on my head. Uh, it's just a pump fake. Hey, buddy. Uh, what's up, Deacon? How you been, man? What's up, Brain? Uh, it's Deacon and Brain. They're great buddies of mine. <laughs> noted. Yeah. I, I feel like I should should have just noted for you, you in particular as I throw NPCs your way. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, like, crowding in there. Uh who would be next? I guess uh, Seth would be at the back after creating the scene. So I imagine closely, like, trying to get on the bus is Jack. Um, I think she's awkwardly kind of like, you have someone, you're, oh, two of you? Okay. Uh, you have someone to sit with? No, there's two of you too. Okay. Oh, yeah. She's just kind As of... you start <laughs> walking past, like, people are grabbing their, like, rucksacks and, like, putting it on the seat next to them and then just kind of turning to look out the window. Yeah, no, yeah. And she kind of looks with dread and then goes and sits next to the teacher. Uh, kind of <laughs> in that, like, <sighs> shame spot where you didn't have anyone else. Uh, Mari, you come up onto the bus as you see uh, Jack kind of resigning herself. I'm going to go up to the first person who puts their backpack on the seat and throw their backpack on the floor and sit down. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you just like grab uh, a backpack and like toss it down like the You're aisle onto the floor right in front of them mm -hmm. oh and just I'm flipping it over mm -hmm. yeah. I see that from the like... back and I point my pitchfork at her and I go super villain do I hear that <laughs> uh, are you I doubt that uh, Seth is trying to keep that quiet <laughs> oh, okay we all have our role to play and so the, the person sat next to you is like trying to sort of reach around to like grab their backpack like off the off the ground, but kind of failing at it. If you want to keep, keep your bag with you, you should have kept it in your lap instead of trying to keep something out of the suit. I mean, I I wasn't. You weren't. She'll just put her back to the seat and stare forward. Yeah, it's sort of deflated. Kind of just leaves her back there and like <laughs> turns back to the window. Um, everyone is seated on the bus as it starts to like pull off out of the sort of circle um, in front of the school and peel off around outside uh so the the uh the aquaculture farm is like a little ways sort of on the outside of town hence the buses and things so um there is like a short ride over there um what would you guys like to do on the bus ride over if anything jack is keeping 
every muscle in her body tense so that she doesn't accidentally like bump into the teacher and that thing where it's you're just like trying to move as little as possible just trying to just like be so unassuming and just like take up no space and like jostle yep. very little yeah uh, mrs winston is like sat down and has just allowed herself to like spread like through <laughs> yeah. most of the seat so yeah. you probably got like this much of the seat that you just kind of perched yeah. on with one cheek like just like <laughs> right knuckling just to like hold herself steady from like going side to yeah. side that's it as uh as patty is like cranking the wheel around the corners and things and you're like like holding on <laughs> uh in fact yeah give me um Mm. Give me a brawn or a flight check. Ooh. <laughs> Let's do flight. Either one, because you could use either in different ways. Uh, well, that's a four. <laughs> so you hit this, uh, like, the, the light ahead of Patty, like, turns from uh, green to yellow. And so she, like, like floors it at the, at the yellow light and like with the wheel as it like swings around and as you do you like swing like slide off the chair completely and land in the aisle oh no and she just and kind then, of like looks back to see if anyone saw it happen <laughs> there is a the there is a moment of utter silence and then one kid stands up and goes <laughs> And then everyone starts laughing. <laughs> she just like scrambles into the seat and just kind of like puts her, like pushes her hat down even further, just kind of like sinks down. This is like her worst nightmare. Uh, Mrs. Winston looks like turns to look at you and just says, put your seatbelt on. It, it doesn't have the uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Just hold it. It's like as you look and you can see that the belt is like behind her shoulder, like from where she's spread out. Across <laughs> the... <laughs> okay. She'll just motion. <laughs> she'll, just, she'll just kind of motion like she's putting one on, but she's not gonna reach over. Awesome. <laughs> um. Mari, what uh, what are you doing with your sort of awkward compatriot? Um, I'm kind of like studying what everyone else is doing, like studying mannerisms and the way people are pronouncing words and um, just like the pitch of their voices. And, you know, like in my mind, I'm mimicking all of their like, you know, mannerisms and you know, trying to act like anyone in my head like oh I could do I could totally do that I could be that person you know um, so just kind of observing sort of taking in like mm -hmm. practicing like inflections in your head and things yeah for sure awesome and uh, what about you Seth what are you doing uh, you know, I I'm on this but uh, bus in tight tight space, and I'm actually self conscious because I think I smell pretty aquatic right now. Like I I just smell like my restaurant with the shrimp and stuff, and like I'm like I like when people laugh at things I do, but not at me. And like I'm really conscious of how I smell. I didn't realize that mm. that the bus would be this full. Yeah. <laughs> give me give me a grit check. A grit check. Ooh. I got a three. A three. Yeah. You, as you came onto the bus, you were like super like expressive and things with like open body language. As you start thinking about, oh my God, the smell. I didn't shower and yep. the more like you think like thought after thought after thought you just start shrinking like yeah. into the seat 100 percent. that's what i do i don't even i'm i'm like so self-conscious that i don't even look 
to my left to see who I'm sitting next to. I'm just like, yeah. And then now, now other thoughts are starting to roll in my head. Like, man, this uh, this costume is actually stupid. Like, oh shit, these biker shorts are really tight. I didn't realize they were this tight. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, my ideas like kind of backfire me now. I'm like, oh, now I gotta walk around this this gold sequin shirt the whole day. I'm gonna look dumb. Like, ah. Uh, yeah, it's like it was funny, and now you're just self-conscious about everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yes, Masood it makes a good point. When you fail a check, you do take an adversity token. You start with three. Oh. So, oh. yeah, so Ash and Paul take one, so you'll be up to four now. And remember, you can those use are good, those. Right? We want to. You can use those to possible. increase your rolls. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Every time, that's the nice thing about this, any of the kids' systems, right? Every time you fail, yeah. it's like you gain it's experience for next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so actually, cool. true, you want to have a lot. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not bad to fail. Like, that's Sometimes. a really good message. <laughs> yes. It's like narratively a fail, but it gives you a boost in the future, and so right. it doesn't really gotcha. matter if you fail. The most scales of the time. balance. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Kids in capes. Sponsored by <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, so uh, the bus, like the bus breaks, just like that high pitched, like squeal that <clears throat> from like 50 feet away, all the way up to uh, the side of the curb of the um, the aquaculture farm. I keep forgetting what I called it. Um, as the the door like opens and Mrs. Winston stands up. All right, everyone off the bus. As she gets down slowly and stands by the door to like count everyone out. Um, I'm just going to ask her if, if she's ever tried vapes before. Like that would be so much. I think it'd help her a lot. Vapes in the early 2000s? <laughs> oh, right. This is the early 2000s. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, yeah, but yeah, there yeah. were e-cigarettes for there those of us e who were old enough during that. <laughs> yeah. In the early 2000s? I thought that was like a... Yeah. 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 Also, yeah. rigs were coming out. Like, some people... It was around the time. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. They... People back home just smoked. <laughs> 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 they weren't we trying to hide anything. Uh, like, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was like 2000, like 2009-ish, I think, when the smoking ban came in for Inside. Oh, yeah. But until then, that's, just that's chain way. smoking in the pub. Yeah. It's just like a haze of smoke yeah. that sits through a pub. <laughs> yeah. That's like Those were the days. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, everyone sort of filters off of the bus and uh, lines up at the door ready to walk into the aquaculture farm um anyone want to do anything before we uh before we head in uh brant is just stretching um uh, doing his little like arm circles there's one in each direction just to make sure that he can uh and then he takes a moment and says okay so i already said that this is an aquaculture farm so there's gonna be water here right yeah i mean who are you asking I, th I think Deacon, maybe, uh, out, out of the group. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got Aqua in the name, so that, that makes sense, right? Okay, okay, then we're, then we're prepared. All right. <laughs> Just in case. Whoa! I'm always ready. His, he takes his hood down, he's got another swim cap. Of, uh, <laughs> the three of you. <laughs> All of them are in. And you know, we can't even wear this in regulation, but it's nice to have. We should be having our water polo caps, but coach. I know. Knows. How did we not plan this? Oh, we should have. This is nice. This is really cool that we're all just on the same wave. Like, Artie, I should have gotten you Wavelengths, I... bro. Wavelengths! <laughs> <laughs> As the sort of chuckling uh, from the water yeah. jocks. <laughs> Uh, I think you see like me with a hand on, on either of them, just sort of like walking forward. And I think at this point I lose track of Arnie. I like now that I'm fully in like team mode. It's like okay, we're going. He's gonna follow. He'll he'll follow. Yeah. Yep. 
<laughs> Ani, are you right behind? Oh, for sure. And all I can think of is, in my head is Aqua Bros would be a great band name. <laughs> oh, Aqua Bros. Lock it down. <laughs> or Aqua Jocks. I like Aqua. that too. Um, yeah, so if no one else is doing anything, you guys head into the Aquaculture Farm. Um, you are met with um, a uh, fairly slender, like gaunt uh, looking gentleman uh, in a like long uh, white lab coat um, who drones on. Yeah, so this is the Aquaculture Farm. And, uh, and it kind of like warbles out into war, 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 as they <laughs> start leading you down the hallway. But um, this is uh, a place that um, not only sort of like farms um, aquaculture, uh, like shrimp and things like that, but it's actually got like a science um, sort of like wing to it as well, where they sort of study in order to try and sort of better um, the sort of healthy uh, population of shrimp and other um, like shellfish and things in the area, because that's just going to feed back into the economy and things. And so they get lots of grants from uh, from the like city government and things. And so you know, it's a it's a it's all a cycle of money and science. Um, isn't everything that made, that made me a little sad? <laughs> to real, go back to fantasy. Yeah, the danger of this reality that we're playing in. That was one of my lines. <laughs> Just realism. <laughs> um, but yeah, you sort of led down this this hallway, uh, and there are tanks like on either side, like with sort of small like cultures of um, like different sort of crabs, like. Uh, like soft shell and there's like like uh, like lobster and other sort of um, shellfish as you as you kind of walking along to the sort of echoing droning sound of the uh, the tour guide um, who's definitely excited to be showing kids around his workplace. <laughs> uh, is there anything you'd like to do as you as you're going along? Jack is like taking furious notes. Uh, up everything he's saying, like, what is that? Like, asking questions like that are not prompted by like the conversation at all, but just like so locked in to this experience. And every time you do that, you can see his shoulders like rise and then drop, like, with his lungs. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> like listens to your question and then gives a very short but abrupt answer. So, as I was saying, the blah, 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 like, leading you on. I, I, um, I'm just asking questions that actually don't make any sense. Questions that I would, I, I wondered about at my restaurant, like, hey, do you know actually how long, how safe it is, how long can you keep shrimp, you know, on ice and how long does it last because you know i want to make sure my my mom my mom and dad are following the code correctly but they say a week and a half is good i think a week and a half is just too much what do you think well we don't really deal with dead shrimp but a week and a half seems like a lot you might want to look at the local health codes Okay, what was the name of your restaurant? <laughs> oh, it's it's in the south side. It's called Crustacean. Understood. Thank you. <laughs> like, continues. <laughs> oh, uh, Brant, yeah. are you going to? Brant yeah. asked just a question. Asked about, so uh, some of these uh, species, they 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 all just live in the water. They sleep in the water. How do they swim while sleeping? And can humans learn that? <laughs> <laughs> like there's just stunned silence <laughs> I'm going to give you the short answer no Aww. 
and <laughs> tries to turn again, like, <sighs> and there's like slight, <laughs> slight muttering, like before he continues, like on his his speech. Uh, I'll, I'll Arnie, lean into Brand. I, oh, sorry. I'll lean into Brand and just say, I, I think you could do it. I believe in you. I'll be the first. Thanks, man. No problem. <laughs> um, Mari, what are you doing? Um, every single conversation, side conversation that's happening around, she's turning into that uh, guide's voice in her head. Like, you know, kids are, like, talking about their homework and stuff. She's like, yes, that's so great. And she's, like, just doing the whole, like, Patrick Star voice in her head um, the entire time. And, you know. That wasn't intentional, but. But it happened. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are, again, with more of the um, sea life. Um, yeah. So, and then, you know, after she's done it for a bit, she's like, yeah, I got that one, too. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yeah, so um, there's like a little ways down the hallway, and like you've seen like a couple of like other people like walking by in like lab coats and things, um, seemingly like with, with purpose, like heading along and kind of like averting their eyes from like the kids and stuff just because they don't want to deal with that. Um, nor do they want to get palmed off on like by the by your enthusiastic tour guide. So um, but there's this one that Jack, like, you notice because you've you've seen him around before. Maybe some link to your family, maybe. But he doesn't look like the rest. He's not as well put together. Um, like a fairly, like, stubbly kind of very, very short beard, almost like it's just kind of grown out, like he just hasn't shaved. Um, he's got, like, what you can see is like a, um, a like a knitted sweater underneath that's kind of like pulled at the neck and kind of like a couple of the threads are kind of like open into little holes and things uh, underneath his coat, which is like buttoned. Um, and he is he's carrying this box and hmm, give me give me a which one is uh oh man I forgot which one is like the insight skill oh no charm charm, charm. charm. is it, it char charm. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is charm that's right yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you yeah so you can give me uh, give me a charm Fairly low DC with this. Okay. Yes. I got a two. <laughs> two. So he looks shifty. Like you can't tell much beyond that with a two. But take another token as well. Um, but you can see as he's carrying this like box that has um, like a, a covering over it. Um, like it's being concealed and he's looking around and you can see him like counting doors until he like stops at one and then looks both directions and then opens the door and slides back can I try to observe the box as close as possible? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, Would that be brain? Yeah, I'm gonna say brains for that one. I'm good at brain. What are you trying to uh, ascertain? Like, do I feel like there's a live creature in there? Do I feel like it contains some kind of chemical? Do I feel like it contains some kind of like, like just the nature of kind of what would be transported in the box. Like, I'm bad at reading people, but I'm good at reading, like, just observing, you know, uh, surroundings. So I think I would focus on that. I got a 17. Nice. 17? I'm, yeah. 
Um, so with a 17, you can tell, it doesn't seem like there's a liquid in there. Um, I don't think you'd be able to tell if there's, uh, like, a live whatever in there. It's not, like, moving, like, it's being pushed around by an animal or anything. But as he kind of turns towards the door, you do hear a, like, clunk, like a heavy sort of clunk against the box that he's carrying. And, um, as he does that before he, like, opens the door, he, like, freezes in place and his eyes go wide for a second before <sighs> and opening the door checking both ways and closes it behind him <sighs> yes um can, can I can I talk to you really quick I think you've been talking to me enough nope but um there's all right, so this way. Wah, 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 wah. I'll walk Jack's up. Jack's gonna. Oh. oh. I'll walk up to Jack. What did you want to say? And I'll do like a perfect, like. You can talk to me, it's kind of the same thing. I. Yes, um. I think something's wrong. I. Um. There's. Um guy and I feel like he's got something that is but you know what maybe it was just a, a, a acid or something that he was worried was gonna burn his hands real bad but I just got a bad feeling about this what are you talking about this is when they when that room over there yeah I mean he there's people working here. Give me, um, give me another brains check. Me? Yeah. I got brains. I should hope. I got ten brains. Ten. Up uh, uh, with how many adversity tokens? Oh, so. No, so oh. you're good. You, you, you passed on this one. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, so clarifying question. <laughs> this is Ashley doing this now. Yes. <laughs> oh, we're all cool. ourselves. Um, <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> Some shade. <laughs> so, clarifying question: We can spend yes. our adversity tokens on any failed roll. Yeah, or a successful one. To make it like, more if you want to boost it, oh. yes, because it's a it's a it's a tiered scale, mm -hmm. so you can like uber succeed at something. Do we announce that? Can we know whether we pass or failed before we choose to spin the adversity tokens? Or is this... Uh -huh. I think not. I think not. I think that's a gamble. Okay. Understood. Okay. Um, I think you can, you, can use, you can use the adversity tokens after I tell you that you fail. Okay. To, like, bring it up to a pass. Mm. But I won't tell you, like, the levels. Um, yeah. Sure. Gotcha. Okay. Makes sense? That's yes. reasonable. Yeah. Thank cool. You. All right. Um, sweet. So, um, ten. you got a 10. Yes. So, that's where you've seen him before. He's been over to your houseboat before. That is Ray from the, from the fanboat union. What was he trying to get? Like, was he talking to my family about, like... You guys have friends? known each other for a long time. You know, you're both on the waterways and things. Like, he's more right. sort of in the city, uh, like, driving people around and things. Right, and so then, I would you know. know he doesn't work here. Oh, he definitely doesn't work here. Then she's just gonna... And just kind of like go <laughs> that way <laughs> to like and knock on that door and kind of like oh but how far away is it from the rest of the group well the group is moving huh. so you can like hang back and like slowly kind of walk backwards yeah you look at mrs winston mrs winston is walking alongside the tour guide and has a book open <laughs> is it Do is it a dirty romance novel <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> just just roll a d20 for me. 17. So you can see that there is a smaller book inside the book. <laughs> Make of that what you will. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Do, do I notice anything amiss going on because I have a knack for troublemaking <laughs> and so like I, I I I look for to do to get into trouble but then I also maybe notice somebody's up to something so I think I think what you would notice um, for definite is as you're kind of looking around for the next joke to kind of put yourself back into like a positive self-image Um, you would probably notice like Jack is like hanging back from the rest of the group which is like not like her at all she's usually like at the front got it I also noticed Mari Mm -hmm. hanging back with Jack right and like Mari is the person that I'm always trying to 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 annoy because Mari is so serious she never laughs at anything I do and so I I keep an eye on her because I'm trying to get her to laugh all the time. So I noticed she's she's back there. So I noticed something's cooking. So I uh, Aquaman starts to like trail and starts to slow down to catch up with the, with the, the kids in the back. Uh, I think Bran also notices part of the group splitting up. And yeah, you guys are like at yeah. the back of the line, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So you would definitely like be starting to pass the group that are that are hanging back. Yeah. Um. Uh, guys, I think we're supposed to stay with the group. You know, nobody gets left behind. We gotta, we gotta stick together. That guy's boring as hell. I'll just motion to the the fact that she's already gone, knocking on the door. Okay, uh, well, well, why don't we grab her and then we can come back. Okay, uh, and, like, Brant will start to follow, like, Arnie, are you coming along or you, you... Oh yeah, I was just blindly following, like, like, like behind you, like you know those, <laughs> those like big water polo shoulders. I'm just like, <laughs> turns around. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, we, yeah, I just follow the rest of the group as we all slip into this door. Yeah, so you all hang back towards uh, this door. Jack, you knock on it, and you wait a second, you knock again. And there's, mm, there's no answer. She'll open it a crack. Ray? You look. And you hear your voice kind of echo down these, like, hallways, which are concrete. I was just gonna say, hey, what it what you doing, buddy? Okay? Jack, if we're going on a side quest, we should probably just go and I'll kind of shoulder, like, push her on into the door and walk in. <laughs> yeah, so the door swings open as you're sort of shoved in uh, into these, like, concrete hallways, which don't look as, like, flashy as the sort of outside like walk through uh, of the aquaculture farm. This is like the behind the scenes, but it is odd that everything is like concrete here. I bet they have super colossal shrimp back here. Hmm. We should find out. Like prawn? Wait, is that just what prawn is? Is prawn just Big shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they call him the, the, the brawn prawn. It's the super oh! colossal shrimp, yeah. LeBron. <laughs> oh, well, call me LeBrant. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Brant, you're, the, you're so funny. <laughs> no, we know that's not true, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you make me laugh. Oh, uh, just keep walking along. Uh, but you saw somebody, some guy named Ray. We don't have a Ray in our class. 
No, I know he knows my family. I don't know why he's here though. He doesn't work here. Unless he's had a really drastic change in career in the past few weeks. Which, you know, good on him. So after opening the door and, and pushing forward in, uh, you do hear some like footsteps, like heavy footsteps, like work boot sized footsteps that is coming from down uh, an, sort of around a corner of these like bare concrete walls uh, that have these like, sort of like flickering luminescent lights. Oh, this is definitely a dungeon. Wow. Why would they have a dungeon? Let's go check it out. And I'm okay. just gonna walk right right to the front in my Aquaman costume. I'm just gonna lead the way. Awesome. So as we enter these uh, behind the scenes catacombs, that's where we're gonna take our 10 minute break. And then we will come back to find out maybe why Ray is in the aquaculture farm. Yeah, Ray. The hell, man? What you doing in here, man? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are playing Kids in Capes. There is a Kickstarter live right now for the next yeah. two weeks. Uh, so exclamation point KIC in the chat to get that link. Go over, back it. It is a super fun game. Uh, I'm having fun just in like just the teen section right now. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, yes. So awesome. We will be back in ten minutes. So please hold on to your hats, hold on to your seats, hold on to your butts. We will be right back. <laughs> and welcome back to the Swarm Initiative Network, where we are playing kids in. Capes, the latest in the Powered by Kids on Bikes uh, series by Hunters Entertainment. There's currently a Kickstarter running, exclamation point KIC, to get a link to go and back it. You should. Even just with the quick start materials, I can only imagine what it's going to be like when it's finished, because it, it's really cool. It's really cool. Um, and they're not paying me to say that. So I actually <laughs> <laughs> they never um, will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they never have to because I just enjoy ah! it so much. <laughs> they can still pay me, but they don't have to pay me to say that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, we are on a field trip uh, in the aquaculture farm uh, where. We had just opened a door into these concrete hallways with flickering fluorescent lamps on the ceiling that kind of have those like metal cages over them um, where you can hear the sort of footfalls thudding, like echoing uh, from around the corner of one of these um, like concrete tunnelways. So what would you like? to do. Hey. She's gonna start walking towards the footsteps more. Wait. What was his like mannerisms when he walked in this door? He had a box. Right. Um, but he seemed a little nervous about what was in the box that was moving when he turned around and so that's why I thought hey that's weird and then I was like oh hey that's Ray he doesn't work here that's weirder you know so now you're caught up with them so he's sneaking around I guess so so maybe don't call his name She can do whatever she wants, Mari. Shut up, Schmidhead. <laughs> okay, guys, we can all get along. We can we we're, 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 we can all get along here, right? Like we we don't need names. We don't need to tell people what to do. 
we could actually just go back. We could get back to the rest of the group now, because uh, we, we don't see this guy, and we could just kind of, like... Doesn't sound sound like fun? I'll, I'll, try no. the, I'll try the door, and it's just, like, not opening. Yeah. Like... It's like... The, the door handle doesn't twist from the inside. Uh, guys, it's, uh... It's, it's, it's definitely locked. Um, I think oh, it's, I think it's like a, a key or something. No, I'm not joking, man. This oh. is a fun. Guys, well, let, we... Let's hurry up so we can get back to the group after this. Don't worry about it. Let's, let's do this. I mean, we're kind of, we're just, I mean, we're separated now and, and we shouldn't be alone from everyone else. Like we, we could, we could double back. I, I Let me try the door. Maybe I could open it. Uh, I don't. Rattling. I don't think that's. I don't think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um. Okay. Can we just walk. I'm like yeah, halfway I, down the hall. I know. Yeah. Same. <laughs> She's yeah. like. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. We don't. We can't. We. Okay. Fine. So, are you guys just going like haphazardly? Are you? I wouldn't. Going, like, are you trying side, to... Side to side? Yeah, I think there's something about, like, echoing and being in, like, this big chamber and being so aware of your footsteps that just, like, Jack, I took the unassuming, and I think she, like, has that as, like, try to make as little sound and as little impact as possible. She's, like, self-conscious of the sound of her own feet now, and so I think it's trying to be quiet. Okay. Yeah, those of you that will sort of follow suit and do the same to kind of stay quiet can all give me, hmm, like, uh, I guess a flight check in order to... Okay. And just for just for posterity, we I roll the dice that is aligned with that attribute, right? Or is it all yes, different? yes. No, uh, you, you roll that die, okay. and then if you have modifiers for it, add that. Uh, yeah. uh, and also, if you explode, right, like, you get the maximum. Oh, yes. then I exploded! Then roll again. Okay, well, then I got a one, so seven. <laughs> uh, Was it a d6? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you said flight? Oh, yes. I rolled the wrong one. Oops. I got a three. Um, Ten. Three. Fourteen. Now, you can spend adversity tokens and other people can spend them on you if you are in the same area. Okay. Oh. Oh. So you can help someone by spending adversity tokens on them as well. Uh -huh. I think I'm not aware and I'm just, you know, with my little plastic pitchfork, I'm just like... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I'll, I'll spend some adversity tokens. I'll help that out. I don't... Yeah. I can't stop doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So our three tokens, we start with three. That's for the campaign, or does every new session we start? Every with session three? is start with three. Yeah. yeah. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Okay. So, spend them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, man um, dark. Ha ha! So do ha, we know? Ha, ha. So did a seven fail? Uh, well, let's. I think we gotta. Oh, actually, does it fail? No, you pass. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to spend two to get to a seven because I don't know what fail is. I'll, <laughs> I'll dump three uh, towards Seth's way, and I think that's. Uh, so the, pa the passing the passing line is five. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, I had that. <laughs> so. Then, uh, then I'll, I'll put two to Paul's way, and I'll, like, try and, like, uh, I think Brant steps forward and, like, you know, I can actually hold that. This actually seems pretty cool. And, like, just kind of, like, <laughs> picks it up a little bit and just, like, is now, like, holding it close to their chest, like, kind of, like, walking next to them. Thanks, Brant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, it felt like you were... It seemed like it might have been hard for you, but I'm big and strong, so I can hold it pretty easily. It's true, he is. Made up. It's made out of plastic, dude. Oh! 
just like, it like crumbles it a little bit as he like so nervously like crushes it like is just like holding it close to his chest. So you guys begin I rolled to... the wrong one. <gasps> How I dare got, you? I got fight and flight. Fight and flight are spelled really similar. Did you know that? Yeah, and yes, they're right next I to did. each other. Yeah. I did they the are. same thing. It's okay, fun. okay. But it was still a success, so it doesn't matter. But just, okay. Cool, okay. No worries. Um, so you guys start sort of quietly creeping down the hallway, sort of around this corner under the flickering lights. The only real sound that you can hear is the footfalls in front of you that you continue to stay behind but follow. After a period of time passes, you hear the footfalls stop. It's still around the corner, so you don't see, unless you want to try to take a peek around. I would like to. That'll mm -hmm. be a brains. Brains? Check. Yeah. I got brains. I'll, I will let my friend do this. <laughs> you would, Cal. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, no. Big brain. On a D20. Yeah. <laughs> nice adversity. Wow. Nice token. Okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you get it too. <laughs> so, you go to sort of peek around the corner. And because of the, the nature of the tunnel kind of curving around, you have to like lean out quite far. And as you sort of push your way out, your sneaker slips on the like polished concrete floor and you begin to fall. Would anyone like to try and catch her? No. I don't know what that is. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, friend. <laughs> so you, you can give me um you can give me a brawn. Would love to. Well, don't even Bra don't even give me another option. Braun is the only thing that we've got. It's <laughs> if we're gonna roll it. Just hug the pitchfork on like the back of her overalls. <laughs> okay. Yeah. A nineteen plus one, and, and maybe Whoa! that is exactly what happens. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, <sighs> what happens is because you're gonna get some bonuses from that for being so high above the DC, is you reach out and you grab onto um, Jack's backpack which she always wears both straps, which is super uncool at this particular time. And her <laughs> chest strap, because it takes the strain off of your lower back. <laughs> it's clipped in place. For um, sure. So you reach out and you grab onto the handle, and with the sort of little bit of slack in the straps that is there, it allows her to sit out just far enough to see around the corner as you just like hold her there. And Jack, you see Ray again, looking extremely nervous. He like balls up like part of his like white coat sleeve and like rubs his head and you can see that it's like, comes away like dirty, like he's wiping away sweat. And he opens another door and walks through, leaving it ajar. But it is a much brighter room on the other side of this door. Another room. Then we should follow. You Do you want me to let go? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> just slowly lower you to the ground yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> not so pulling can, up it's a slow just do, put your hands forward as a slow push up a slow descent into it there you go <laughs> <laughs> um, perfect so between you guys you sort of gather yourselves up um, heading towards the door yeah. mm -hmm. all right as you get closer to the door, you start hearing voices, like more than one voice beyond this doorway. As you like 
Well, are you going into the room or are you peeking from outside? I trying to peek in. I would, I would peek to see if you can go in without being like, if it's like a five by five, obviously we're not gonna just walk in, yeah. you know? Like, what's the situation? Mm-hmm. Can we get in? So you can initially see um, a, a, a wall, but it's, it's not really a wall. It's not vertical. It's, it's almost like, like it comes up to about hip height and then it slants inwards. It seems to have like this almost like black glass panels that you can't quite see through it, but everything's very white and very clean on the inside, apart from these like black glass windows. Uh, with the cracked door, that's what you can see through. Um, so you would you would put two and two together. It looks like another hallway, but just like you've reached the other side. Okay. Maybe this is the door out. So we have to go through here to get out of here. Well, we certainly can't go back. Yeah. Okay, though. He's got the key or whatever to get out of here. Peeking through, do you, can you see the people? You can't see, but you can you can hear them. Uh, you can give me a brains check if you want to try and pick up what they're saying. Three? Three doesn't quite do it, but you can take an adversity token for that. Two? Um... It's just, it's murmured, but I would say that you can hear that there are two other voices in there, especially with your talent for voices. You can pick up on, there are three separate voices and all three of them sound more on the blue collar side of things. Can I use my intu- intuitive skill to determine if, like what the tone of the conversation is? Oh, yeah. What what does your intuitive strength give you? Uh, I actually don't know. I had the, I had it marked as intuitive, but I didn't see where it, what intuitive actually gave me. I got you. I'm so sorry. I have you can so spin many windows open. Token. Oh, there we go. I'll spend an adversity token. To ask the GM about your surroundings, an NPC or the like, the GM must answer honestly. Uh, I would like to use my intuitive to, and spend one of my adversity tokens to ask about like what the tone is of the conversation for those NPCs, specifically Jay, since we know he's in there. Ray. I am. I am Ray. not in there, but Ray is in there. <laughs> Technically, you. I I play Ray, but Jay. Jay, Jay is behind the screen. You now we that. don't know who the other voice is, though. Maybe you put yourself in the game. Jay Ray. I Faye. definitely would. I would definitely not have Ray J in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh-huh. using your strength. Um, so you, you pick up on the tone. The tone seems like nervous, uh, uh, panicked, which like you can relate to. Um, it's it's in these like almost like stage whispers, right? So it, it's it's louder, like they're not right next to each other, but they're still trying to keep their voices down. But you can hear that like waver in their voice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll kind of relate it to the group of like, they seem kind of nervous. Uh, I don't think, I really don't think Ray's supposed to be in here. I mean, neither are we. Then why are we whispering? They're... We're waiting to see what their move is. Haven't you ever seen like Mission Impossible or any movie ever? You don't have a... what? Okay. Do you... Okay. You you can come... You, you can come to the theater anytime. 
I'll make sure you come in so you can see some kind of like performance of some kind. Are you doing Mission Impossible? On ice. No, that's a movie. We we do actual like live plays, but I I, I enjoy movies and um never mind. <laughs> what was the <laughs> right? Um, I'm curious to know what they're doing. So we should we, wait. We can we can either go in and find out, and you can talk to Ray if you want. I'm not going. He's your friend, right? Well, he's he's friendly with my family. I him and my dad hang out, and, and um, you know they they they, they switch it. They they split a pack of Michelob Ultra every now and then. Uh, and oh yeah, he's the guy that smokes American game. spirits. We can't even take his cigarettes. Well, you probably have them like him, Marie. Sorry, Marie. What would you guys like to do? Is there a way to go in without being noticed? Like, is there like a half wall or some kind of cover or something that we can like you, go so in? So and... I, I would say like, because you're kids, I would say other than Brant, Brant may have to push the door open a little bit further to get through because it's a bit more stocky. Um, but most of you would be small enough to like hug that sort of panel. And because of the slant that goes in, you can kind of lean back and be able to like use that to your advantage to get through. Mm -hmm. I want to do that. Yeah, okay. same. I will, I will need flight checks for that to avoid light, hot, brushing flight. the door. Flight. Light. This is not a fight situation. Light. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. My bucket of dice. Nine. You good? Six. Six. I you got good? A five. Okay. You are just good. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. Do, uh, it, easy. Wow. I want, is it harder? It, it's got to be harder for Brant. Um, we'll, we'll, it is. We'll try. Higher. It's a three. It's a. It's a good three, I'm, but it I'll, is a three. <laughs> I can give you. I'll give you two. So that takes you to a five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh but he needs more than that. I'll oh, give shit, him... he needed more. I um I'll give him one. I'll I'll give him one. Six, seven, that's just what you need. Oh, seven is what you need? Yeah. Oh he, oh he needs more. I got it, got it, got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like just kind of edging you your way through brand. How do you guys that spent adversity tokens, how do you guys help him? I'm just gonna like very slowly like inch the door, like hook my finger under the door and like open it a little bit so it like slowly, so it's not creaking or like moving really obviously. <laughs> As you start to pull on it, there is no like real squeak. At, at the speed that you're going, there's no sound coming off of this door. This seems a lot more looked after in this area. I would kind of coach him on how to turn his body to like oh. come through. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Uh almost dings the like uh trident on a door and it's like, you know, actually I think you you're probably better off with this. Uh and I like hand it back uh to Seth. <laughs> uh Aquaman cosplay complete once more. Yes. Um, okay. So you're in on. You're in the room, and now now you can see, like, there's bright lights everywhere. Uh, on the right-hand side of the wall, which curves around to the left, like, and it's a fairly, like, long curve. Um, seems like it goes around in a circle. You don't know how far it goes into a circle, but that's the kind of, like, curve that it's on. On one side, there are uh, like panels and screens with controls on them, different sort of levers and buttons and things, keyboards, um, different sort of um, like large backed 
like monitors and things with uh, green dotted screens and things. Um, do you continue to push in towards the voices? Okay. I also want to look at this equipment and see if I can like understand what it could be used for. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can give me a brains check on that one. This is like a fairly high DC for you to understand this. What'd you get? Fifteen. Fifteen. That's not bad. Um, so I'll, I'll give you a success on that. You don't really understand what this sure. is, but there seems to be like if, as you read a couple of the other monitors and things, it is um, it's like controlling. Uh, like a habitat space, it seems. It's like uh, monitoring like the oxygen levels and uh, like within the within the water itself, uh, which you know, like that's how fish and things breathe. And there's there's other sort of like uh, terminology to do with like a a habitat. The dark slanted panel? Is it glass? Seems it. Can... Is it like an aquarium? Like, is it water on the other side? Uh, it's hard to see because it is, like, it, it's shaded black. Like, it's oh. tinted. Oh, okay. It's not solid tint, but it's fairly heavily tinted. So we went from the aquaculture to a weird concrete hallway back to a finished nice lab look again that's weird does it look pristine in the way that like well i guess the rest of it wasn't necessarily set up for tourism we were just touring as a group like they they don't often like public this isn't a place that's like open to the public in general true no yeah. Okay. okay. This, this place is like immaculate as well. Okay. Um, the the sort of entryway that you came in and we're going through the tour that is very much set up like a museum. Understood. Okay. Like they accept public in to like talk about you know the nature side that they, they, they do the educations so they get education grants and things for that. So this is more like sterile lab. Yes. This is very much like there must be just a solid purpose for this. Now that we're further in, are we able to hear what the conversation is? You can give me another uh, a brains check, anyone that wants to... Um, Let's give that to somebody else this time. <laughs> that wants to try and pick it apart. You know what? Let's do it. Let's try. I have a D4. It could it could explode. Oh my god. I have a D6. It's a four! Oh! It, <laughs> so it explodes, it's so you roll four. it again. Oh. <laughs> you already did better it's than three. me! It's a three. It's a three. We, we end there. We end there. We, nice. we end at, at, at an 11. Wow. 11. You did better than me on a D20. I got a seven. Big brain. It's... Uh, tell me what happens and I'll relate it to water polo and it'll make sense. <laughs> um... So, what you hear, like, you don't recognize the voices. But you know there's three distinct voices. You can hear that now that you're close enough. You don't hear it, like, word for word. But there seems to be, like, urgency in the air. And you can hear one voice that is commanding, like, the other two, giving instructions. Um, about placing, like, placement of things. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and I, every now and then you have, like, a... Be careful. Okay. I think, guys, they're playing behind by a lot, and it's a desperate last grab to score and win it at the end, but things need to go exactly right, and I don't know if that's happening right now. So, uh, I, 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 it might not be a good idea to bother them, but maybe we could ask them after they're done. Can someone translate that from nerd speak? Um. 
we're, we're just gonna listen to the rest of the conversation. <laughs> uh, I don't watch sports. So, you guys would need to get a little bit closer to make another check, to make the DC a little easier. I mean, sure. Okay. Like, army Yeah, crawling. you and I will go, like, real small. So, continuing to push through. Um, in fact, if you hang over to the right-hand side, near, like, the control panels and things, because it's, a, like, a circular curve, you'll be able to see further. Right? Yeah. So you have to like you have to give a little bit of you are easier to be seen, but they probably don't know you're there. But you'll be able to see further. Okay. So you push on a little bit further, and that's when Jack, you see Ray, and there's also Leon and Terry. All three members of the fanboat union. And you hear like the hushed whispers and things. And you see them start to like take off their coats, bundle them up and throw them on the ground under the control panels. And Ray looks towards the other two and says, all right, you ready to do this? It's like, yeah, I mean, we're here now. There's nothing else to do. All right. One, two, three. He leans back and pushes a red button on the panel, which instantly that white light starts flashing red. You guys watch as the door swings shut. As Ray, Leon, and Terry pull what looked like beanies down and they are masks over their faces, ski masks. They put leather gloves on, and Ray heads towards a what looks like an intercom and takes it off the wall. All right, we have this place on lockdown. The only door open right now is the front. If you want to get out, I, I suggest that you do so now. Waits a few seconds. This is because. Do you want to ask a question? <laughs> no, I'm doing this in character. Oh, <laughs> I grab her hand. This abomination here has to be taken care of. We have petitioned the government, and they have done nothing about it. I'm not even sure that most people know what's going on. But these people have been lying to you. These people have been genetically altering the shrimp here. Making them larger, making them breed more, making them lay more eggs. And the, they were going to release batches of them into the waterways. We are proud Newburgh Bergians. <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. Generations of us have been born here, lived here, died here. And I'm not about to see our beloved waterways contaminated. So, you have 30 seconds to leave before we take care 
of this entire laboratory. Hangs it up. Can we still see? Don't want me to grab your hand. <laughs> Can we still see Brant by the door where we are? I would say yes, like because you chose to go towards the outside, you can see both ways. I would want to look back at Brant and like and the door. Oh, I'm trying. I'm really trying that door. Um, it, it might not even be quiet at, at a certain point. Um, but with with the alarm, which has subsided, but is still like going on in the room. Um, it wouldn't even matter because you go to pull on the door and it doesn't even rattle. Oh, guys, this is not good. Okay, and I like turn around and like try to like, I'm running back to them now. I'm just like going at full this panicked sprint. Uh, loud footsteps. Okay, um, we should go talk to them, right? Because they said if you want to leave, we got like 30 seconds. So we probably use about like 10 seconds of that shot clock right now. We should just go talk to them. Are they? They're real eco terrorists. Huh? Uh, Jack just stands up and is gonna raise her hand <laughs> in front of the three of them, which they are guess. turned away. And what you notice is that they are tending to these uh, boxes. There are six of them and they pry the, these are crates that are nailed shut. So they pry and break the lids off of these, um, uh, like small crates with, um, with crowbars and slowly sliding their hands in, wearing the gloves, they pick these up. Small metallic devices, one red light flashing and they start placing them alongside the um, the panel with the glass around it. I'm gonna lean over and whisper to Jack, Mission Impossible. <laughs> I don't know that means, and you never will. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Jack's gonna gonna approach them, but just kind of like oh and she's gonna try to push the red button that they pushed to see if it does anything <laughs> hey 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 Ray over the alarm doesn't quite hear you probably have to go louder <laughs> hey! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> and as Ray is moving one of these, you raise your voice, and he immediately, like, jerks back and drops it to one side as it, <laughs> like, hits the side. The red light already flashing. There is now a green light flashing on it as well. Fuck, 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 fuck. Jack, what the fuck are you doing here? What are you doing? What is all of this? <sighs> it starts beeping on the floor. And he like looks around, like is just panicking. Looks around, looks up at you. You're not meant to be here. Get out, get out, now, go, go! What the fuck are you doing? We tried! Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. He like rips his ski mask off. Guys, there's kids in here! And the two of them like stand up from what they're doing, like, what the fuck? And they look down and see like the, uh, the device that is like rolling around on the ground. The beeps are getting closer and closer together and they just look at one another and time seems to stop as the beeps beep, 
beep, beep, beep, beep, beep, beep, beep, beep. In this moment, you watch as Ray goes and dives onto the device. Watching this all happen in slow motion. There is a moment where there is a light around his form where time seems to freeze and that light gets brighter and brighter and brighter, filling more and more of the room until all you see is white. There is then the next sound, the explosion. And back out, you start to come to, but everything is so dis disjointed, like your senses are slowly coming back, the light seems to be receding and you're starting to take in your surroundings, but all you can hear is this piercing sound as you look around the next thing you hear is your own heartbeat you start taking in what is around you figures moving over you seemingly rushing but almost moving again in this like slow manner rushing and putting things on you but it's so everything is is so confusing in this moment as the tinnitus kind of starts to subside you start to take in where you are lying looking up at this single light you realize that you are jostling around on as your head falls to one side these yellow barred walls on either side of you sort of keeping you on this this bed as two paramedics are rushing to do what they can and that light slowly goes out and it's dark once more the next thing that any of you know is coming to again no piercing tone this time but that blinding light is still there when you open your eyes like they've been closed for months you open them up and the light floods in your pupils immediately dilated as hell just like go to pinpricks to try and avoid this this invasive light and you start taking in the sort of white beige ceiling, the bed that you're in, you start feeling like the heavily bleached sheets on your skin. You look down at your wrist and there is a green tag that's been like popped shut on you with some writing, but it's still so blurry that it's hard to tell what exactly it says. And you start to look 
around and as it comes into focus you see that there's a curtain that is semi pulled back Jack you're the first one to come to you look over and you see other people on the beds around you that blurriness starts to sharpen and you realize that everyone that was there minus Ray, Terry and Leon are being treated within this room. What's weird is that you can make out all these details and you look across to the table to your one side and your glasses are neatly folded up. She'll kind of rub her eyes for a second to make sure it's that it stays that way. Or can she move? You go to, you are free to move, but your joints initially, they feel so stiff. But as you like start to roll them around and move, they start to loosen up a little bit. You can sit up onto the edge of your bed. There's currently no medical workers around but you just see your friends lying still. You check over yourself and there's no, there's no injuries. You get up and your bare feet touch the tiled floor and it's cold. And in that short, sharp sensation through the soul in your feet, you get this flashback to the room, to Ray jumping and covering the explosive, just in like an, an invasive memory that is just thrown into your mind and you quickly throw it back out. What would you like to do? I look around the room. Is there any indication that people have been here, like, to visit? Are there flowers? How dead are they? Like, uh, yeah, if you look around, there are like lots of flowers. There's like, if you look towards, like, your table, there are three vases of flowers on there, each in a different stage of wilting. With the third being the fresh one. Can I go try to see if, like, my chart is on the wall or the foot of my bed? Yeah, it's, uh, it's hanging by a clipboard um, on, like, the last bar at the, at the foot of your bed. So you pick it up and start flicking through it. Um, the notes are very odd. Unknown. Um, it reads, injuries not found. Um, notes about seemingly comatosed, although all vitals seemed very healthy. Like, like pinnacle healthy. 
and it kind of trails on different days as you sort of flick through days, weeks. I'll put it back and go to the next bed, to whoever's in that next one and kind of look at theirs as well and kind of like, like realize I'm going for the information first and then realizing there's like a real person in this bed and then kind of like looking at them and kind of like seeing yeah. if they're making any movement or anything. Yeah, as you go over to them, like whose bed do you go to? Whoever is immediately next to me. Um... Uh, I would say that on one side of the room, uh, the three guys and then the two girls are sort of against the one with then I'd go to one Mar curtain being able to be drawn between you. But yeah, Mari seems like the closest. I'd go to her. Okay. You go over to Mari and you go to check her Her chart. chart. Yeah. Again, injuries not found. Notes about being comatose. Daily check-ins. Vitals seemingly perfect. Does she look placid or is she stirring at all? Like The sort of movement and, and sound of your feet kind of like slapping on the, the tile floor as you walk over. She begins to stir. And Mari, that same like light flooding your eyes and then slowly coming into focus again. And you see stood in a hospital gown at the foot of your bed, flicking through a clipboard is uh, is Jack, but not wearing her glasses. Are you pretending to be doctored now? You're awake too. How do you I'm... feel? I feel fine. That's the thing. You are fine. So am I. We shouldn't be fine. At all. That happened. Right? It, it did happen, right? Yeah. We were. As you begin talking about this, another, like, two violently placed memories, like, flash into both of your heads of uh, the look on uh, Ray's face just before he dives, and then the light that surrounded him as the explosive began to. Um, go off before you quickly push it back out. Yeah, that happened. Is this real? Oh. I'm gonna shoot up. Gonna I'm like, gonna pinch. It's just, don't pinch each other at the same time. You gotta pinch each other. <laughs> like both, both simultaneously. Ow! Yeah. Um, which starts to stir the the three guys on the other side. That like loud. All you hear from me is just, fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I'm so fuck. Oh my god, my parents don't have insurance for this. Oh fuck, I'm so fucked. I'm like pretty panicky. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so screwed. Uh, would you shut up? Ugh. Oh my god. Shush, very loud. Shush. I'm I'm gonna look at the chart in um her hand. And then I'm gonna go over to one of the guys' beds and look at theirs. Like just kind of like obviously she's gonna know what I'm doing. Yeah. She'll come over and look at it over her shoulder and kind of compare. Yeah. Again, pretty much the same, like with um, 
only like varying degrees of notes and obviously like they have different nurses and things come in so but they all generally say around the same thing mm -hmm. brant has now stood behind them and is already stretching you're like oh what a weird moment guys okay all right you guys feeling good ready to get back out there you know we're gonna start the day again give it another like shot. stretching the yep. gown like lifts up a little bit bare ass Oh my, no. if anybody grabs my chart, I'm just like, you, you know, that's a medical condition, okay? Um, it, it's a medical condition. It's, 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 it doesn't happen that often, okay? And so, like, it, it's a, it, just don't worry about it. Jack right, did down. not have your chart in hand, but she's going to go for it now. <laughs> <laughs> um, everyone is fine. We're more than fine. We're we're better than we were. I I have asthma. My O2 sats have never been this good in my life. Um, How were we a for? I my nails are really long. And my hair is like out. What's going on, guys? Yeah, you look. You look. Have you lost? Have you lost muscle mass? Oh no! Immediately starts doing push-ups. Immediately upon hearing that. Um, I would look for a date on the chart. Yeah. Um, the two weeks has gone by two weeks. since the field trip. I read online it's like twenty-five thousand dollars a day in hospital costs for two weeks. Oh God. We were supposed to face against so many people. We have the silver conference finals coming up. Coach is gonna be so mad at me, guys. I miss my pre-cal midterm. Oh, I have to start my car once a day or it won't run. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. Oh, absolutely. Is that a real thing that happens? Can. Yeah, yeah. It, it can seize up. Yeah. Um, do you guys just all lack perspective? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess that's fair. I will. I'm gonna. Knowing that she's a huge like theater arts acting fan, I'm just gonna like bite my thumb at her from the corner, like because it's a Shakespearean insult. And I hope that she gets it. <laughs> well, Barry, wasn't there like, what else is more important than what we have going on? We've been here for two weeks. What, there must have been an audition or something that you missed? Right, but like, again, perspective. Like, we all blew up in a bomb. And now we're fine. So maybe a practice or two can be missed. Well, like, you've seen those Got Milk ads on the TV that are very current and happening right now? Like, it, <laughs> good bones, man. <laughs> yes, this I'm, is I'm... a medical anomaly. I mean, none of us even have any scarring. That's not going to fade in two weeks' time. Uh... Right. Well, I see you without my glasses right now. And the rest of you, Twig, like that, like at that moment, like you've never seen Jack without a glasses on. What else we're is different? Better than we were. I mean, you are because you can see, but like, what? Maybe it knocked your eyeballs straight. I don't know how eyes work. That's not, it's the scleral. <laughs> well, we're clearly um, not smarter. Now that you, like the girls, now that you have been up for a while, you feel good. Like, really good. Like you could just run a mile, like right now. More than 14 minutes? I don't really see <laughs> running. <laughs> um. Hmm. 
What is happening? I don't know. Well, um. Well, yeah, what's up, Brand? I was gonna say, if we're all good, though, they can't keep us here anymore. Also, is it weird we all woke up at the exact same time? <laughs> well, like... Yeah. Okay, I'm just clocking things that we should clock. Uh, I, w I, I was just saying, you know, like, um, Jack woke up and then I kind of woke up because she was making noise and then we made noise and you guys woke up. So, yeah. I, don't, I don't really... Yeah, you're right. It's weird. But I would it's assume there's been nurses in here. I mean, the latest log was just yesterday uh, or this morning. That's weird. I normally don't wake up unless my mom's yelling for me. So I, this is weird. Yeah, I'm going to start taking off like any like uh, <clears throat> monitors and stuff like the sticky. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, none of you guys have like drips or um, like anything in you where they've needed to put medication or anything. You just have like 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 you said, like the adhesive pads on there for them to like put monitors into. Jack looks around now at everybody and then wraps at the back of her hospital gown and realizes her butt's been out this whole time and everyone's butt is out and just like <laughs> It's just as well you stood in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just realized I was doing push ups. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Arnie's over there like <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do now we could just we can go right like they have no reason to keep us here i mean it's uh, not our... like the police they don't detain you i think we could call our parents then do we want to the, the door opens up and uh a nurse walks in looks up and sees all of you and ah! What are you all doing up? What Wait. are we all doing up? I don't know. Get back in bed. But we're fine. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. My parents are probably great. worried. And she starts like going up to you and like grabs like onto your wrists and things to like feel pulses <laughs> and things. Like putting hand on the back of uh on your back having you like breathe and things like testing just like whatever like manual tests that she can do because you're all just stood up and she's the only one there um and starts to calm down a little bit when she realizes that you guys are all perfectly fine what happened how did I, I don't see a scar on a single one of us. How, what did you get, like a full body skin graft? Like, no, that was the thing. When you came in, there wasn't a scratch on you. What about you... the other three guys that we were with? Uh, yeah. Ray and and Leon, I don't know, Leon, Leon and... and I only know about the five of you. When they Wait. came to us, what was... Yeah. What was it like? You, you, you guys should probably just take a seat. I know you feel fine, but just sit down for me. Will you answer our questions if we sit down? Yeah. Are you just telling me that so that you'll get me to sit down? Somewhat. I can accept that, and she'll sit down. <laughs> <laughs> she pulls one of like the guest seats and like steadies herself and sits down herself. You were all found in the rubble. What? There was. There was an explosion at the aquaculture farm. 
Yeah. Wait. What what about the rest of our field trip? The the rest of our the class? Yeah. No. Everyone is fine. They all got out. Oh. Okay. But you were the only ones found. There the four of you, and she points to everyone except Mari, the four of you had some scrapes, nothing major. But you? Yeah. Pristine, like you've just been born. So she's a big baby. <laughs> Yeah. But I don't know about any. What were their names? Ray, Terry. Leon. Leon. I I don't know of any patients with that name. We don't really know what happened, so maybe you shouldn't know their names either. Oh, okay. I don't remember. I have no idea. Did they... Were they part of it? Did they do the... The explosion? No. I don't know. I don't remember anything. I don't think any of us remember anything. I think I remember... <clears throat> we were at the field trip and then there was a bright light well thankfully you didn't step into it oh, oh my god that was dark it, it, it literally wasn't <laughs> oh oh okay this is fun again okay we survived death uh, can we go now can I call my parents yeah, More I can... can I call my coach? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I will call your parents. In fact, I will have the hospital call all of your parents. Let you know that let them know that you're fine. I had a question, just just a technical question. Since we're all fine, do my parents get charged for me staying here? The bill was taken care of. By who? By the aquaculture farm. Oh, that's nice of them. You know, oh. see, look, guys, things kind of worked out for us. What a win. W you got, for the got team. Got your own room and everything. We Have the police been here? I mean, they come by and ask if you're awake they want to speak to us they probably will do you do you know what happened why this explosion happened all i know is two weeks ago there was some sort of like terrorist attack the whole place exploded they found, like, there was weird things that they found, like, some of the walls were, you know, a couple feet thick full of concrete. That's why there was so much rubble. But the whole thing just, boom, shattered. Did they, did they say why? Like, what, what did the terrorists want? I don't know. Like, I wasn't there. And from what I know, they're not here. <laughs> Got it. Not just here, but... If I just... Yeah. Maybe they did find the light. Hmm.
Um, I have a question. What has our diet been that while we've been asleep? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be the only thing I suppose that was like put into you. Yeah, mm. it was just like. Uh, they would have put like like sugars and things um, along with like vitamin like drips and stuff, but they'd only put that in like as needed. So no one fed us any new shrimp. <laughs> new? No. Okay. No, it's hard to it's hard to get them down the the tubes in the in the drips. Oh, okay. Sometimes a protein smoothie with some shrimp is great, and really a Newburgh classic. I think that's what, it's that called on the, that's what it's called on the menu at the diner. <laughs> they right. do a Neapolitan where they do different kinds of shrimp. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I'm going to go and contact your parents. You? Do you know uh, yes, I, I can. Well. Your parents should probably bring you new ones. Oh. Sorry, <laughs> sir. No, sweetheart. Most of them you probably won't want to wear anymore. But we do have them. Can we see them? Yeah? Okay. Let me call your parents and then uh, I'll be back she leaves there's a few minutes goes by maybe 15 20 minutes um she comes back in with like these like plastic bags basically and like looks at the names on them starts handing them out as you start pulling them out they're shreds and burnt backpack with all my my swim cap! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rubber doesn't uh, hold up to fire that much, I guess. Oh, but somehow skin did? I'm still so confused. You're not the only one. But, uh, your parents will be on the way to pick you up and take you home. Can I get you anything? This is, this is weird, right? What day of the week is it? It's uh, Sunday. We have to go to school tomorrow. Uh, good. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I mean that's that's for you and your parents to decide. That's 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 a weird thing to say. I'm gonna go <laughs> and like <laughs> stands back up and heads back out. Um, to wait on your your parents to come and sort of discharge you. I'm so screwed. I was barely, I was barely holding on to class, and two weeks out, I am so screwed. Um, I, I hope you let us make up all of our, the missed work that we had, considering it was a school trip that put us in this situation. Honestly, there's liability there. No, you're absolutely right. I think I could argue against the conference that we should just redo all those matches I missed as well. Because it's going to really affect the stats. I'm, I'm going to be playing, like, there were so many assists and, like, shots per goal I could have had. The, the Stanford recruiter is going to be like, oh, he just slacked these two weeks. If any of us... start feeling not good hmm. we should let each other know yeah like a pack I don't know what kind of bomb that was it was a bomb right? that's another thing let's maybe not talk about it like with us I think it's fine but with anyone else but shouldn't they we, know we don't know what we witnessed and we don't know who was behind it we saw 
it was the three of them. They had bombs that they brought in in boxes. Right, and they could have people that want to finish the job. You need to watch more movies. We also need to make sure we see if we see any big shrimp, because that's that's concerning now, that right? That was part of it, right? Yeah. That was a really big part of it. Super Guess that's what shrimp. they were there to ex. What if there's a shrimp? I think that's called the veterinarian's office, but I'm not usually that smart. I'm not usually that dumb, so. <laughs> <laughs> We're all having a wild day. Oh, yeah. You know, maybe I got smart from the explosion. That could be cool. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, like, as that conversation, like, continues and things, like, one by one, uh, each of your parents comes to pick you up, they like lather you in affection and things and like slowly take you away, take you to their cars and drive you home. And you guys start to like look out the window wondering about what just transpired and what made just be around the corner. And that's where we're going to call it tonight. Woo! Good episode. I'm doing it, y'all. The issue that I have is like, no, we could go for another three hours. I'm sure people would want to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I, yeah, I have, yeah, yeah. like. I love ah. starting a new campaign. <laughs> Good question, Austin. I guess you'll have to find out next week, huh? Yeah. <laughs> don't know. Don't know the powers yet. We so. don't even know. Like, true. Like with each other. Oh yeah, we should. We should say that. Yeah, we know. We what didn't I think. tell anybody. Yeah. Nobody knows what the yes. other person is. Yeah. So <laughs> that is the only thing that I didn't do. Like classic, um, uh, kids, uh, kids on bikes, like session zero is they all picked everything except their powers, which they then told me. And we worked out how they were going to start showing. So no one, like, individually they all know their powers, but no one else does. I'm worried that it's now Jack has got super sight. See, now that's my, like, <laughs> no. oh, they don't need their glasses, yeah. they don't need their asthma. Oh, they can... vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's a reason to uh, come back next week. Yeah. Uh, every Thursday throughout June, we are running Kids in Capes, the next se uh, next in the series of the Powered by Kids on Bikes uh, by Hunters Entertainment. The Kickstarter is currently going. Uh, you can do exclamation point KIC in the chat before we go and raid someone. Uh, and you can go and back the Kickstarter, which is running right now yeah, for the next yeah. two weeks. Um, go and jump on. There's really cool pledge levels. There's like kids in caves backpacks and uh, special dice and uh, all kinds of things. So go and uh, support an awesome uh, publisher, friends of mine. So I'm a little biased, but you know, they, they put out some of my favorite games. So, um, Literally yeah. so fun. Thank you so much, guys. We're going to raid We Are Nerdsmith. Yes, did I read that right? Yes, yeah. I did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're going to raid We Are Nerdsmith. Um, so make sure you hang on, drop a bunch of raid emojis in, let them know where you came from, and then we'll see you back next week on Monday for a community stream. And then Wednesday will be Call of Cthulhu in the run up towards the pinnacle of that story. Um, and then we'll be back on Thursday for more kids in capes. This has been so much fun. Thank you guys. Uh, and thank you guys as well. Um, this has been really fun. So yeah, have an awesome start to your weekend tomorrow. And we'll see you next week, guys. Take it easy. Bye.